Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix bonus episodes. Oh boy, last episode we beat all the absent silhouettes, and um, Marluxia kind of kicked my butt big time. Holy cow, I remember him being the toughest of them all, but I did not remember him being that tough. But we've beaten them all, we got all the new recipes, and we now have seven drive gauges. So, for this bonus episode I don't have a whole lot planned. The main thing I want to do is I want to clear the new cup in Olympus Coliseum. The other thing that I kind of want to do is I want to max out final form. So in order to do that, we're going to go back to Twilight Town, head over to Yen Sid's Tower, and we're going to start that off. So first I'm going to make sure my... Okay, so we got Bomb to Flame. That's good. I'm also going to put on Oath Keeper as my main Keyblade, so that way I can stay in final form for longer. And yep, still got all those shortcuts mapped that I need. Excellent. That. Ouch. That was rude. How dare you? Anyhow, you guys kind of know the drill for how leveling up. Ooh! I got a nobody guard. I think I already had that, though. Well, I can always sell it for money. Anyhow, you guys kind of know what leveling up final form is like, so I'm just going to cut ahead to when I actually start leveling it up, so you can see the new abilities that we get from it. Ooh, I got a strength level up. That's nice. Level 64. I got another nobody guard. Wow. Those lucky strikes are really working out for me. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is... I think a better way to level up Final Form is actually in the world that never was. Now that we've got it to a pretty high level as is, we're going to start at the Altar of Knot here, then make our way down from the top of the world that never was, because there are a whole lot more nobodies that we can fight. Give me strength. Alright, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna leave them alone because those guys are really powerful and they still only give us 1 EXP per death. Oh, so I got another level up. I'm gonna focus on the weaker ones because there are definitely instances later down here. Yeah, creepers. Creepers are great for final form experience fodder. They die very, very quickly. And there tends to have a, there tends to be a lot of them that spawn. Like right there. I want to preserve my drag gauge, so final form, take me please to a new save point. Oh, there's the save point down here. In the proof of existence. Alright, change of plans. We're gonna start at not not the brink of despair. <laughs> the pit of despair. No, no, no. We're gonna start in the proof of existence and then go down from here. Because I believe, if this is the room that I'm thinking of, Hall of Empty Melodies, maybe not. I don't know. Well, this has some snipers in it, so. Nope, it has assassins. It's been a while since I've played two final games. Can you tell? They. Okay, I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew there were snipers that appeared. No, but down here, not Skyway, I believe this is the place. Yep. This has a lot of creepers that spawn, and they're very easy to deal with. Ouch. What the heck? It wouldn't let me do anything. Curing? I, it was supposed to let me use second chance once more, but apparently, game don't play by those rules sometimes. Forget you, Berserker. I'm going down to take out all the creepers that are going to appear. I remember there being a lot more creepers that spawned than this. Oh, here we go. 
There we go. So we now have an extra drive gauge for final form, and we have unlocked a new ability, form boost. Forever another instance of form boost. Yeah, because we already had one from another final form level up. Do I have any other AP boost? I have one AP boost. That's not going to be enough. I actually have to unequip another ability. Oh uh, no. Uh, item boost. I don't need item boost right now. Form boost is more important for leveling up final form. And for just using form. form. Alright, we're going to actually start from the altar of not again. Because I can't make up my mind. Look how slowly our drive gauge is depleting now that we have two form boosts. Yeah, this room just has so many creepers that it's too much to pass up. Because remember, if you get one EXP in for, uh, final form for each nobody you kill, even the weak ones like creepers still count for the same amount of experience points as the tough ones like berserkers do. This, combined with the Oathkeeper Keyblade, means good times will be had by all. Alright, we finally reached uh, max level final form. So we have max level Glide now for final form, and Glide level 3 for regular Sora. Yes! Oh, I can't apparently... I can't apparently go to the main menu from the world map. That's great. Alright, well then, let's go off to Olympus Coliseum. So we can officially start the bonus video. So I got quite a few level ups, and I got more AP. Sweet. Alright. Glide level 3. Excellent. Now we're going to be super fast at gliding. Let's re-equip item boost. Max level glide. Awesome. Uh oh, and before I forget, we're going to re-equip Decisive Pumpkin, because it's like the best keyboy basically. Alright, there is now one final cup for us to do. Hey, Pain. Or, this is Panic, actually. You can sign up for a tournament here! Yep, yep, yep. It's the Goddess of Fate Cup. Recommended level 55. Also, I realized I was not level 64. I was level 54 when I got that one level up. I'm around level 60 now, though. Goddess of Fate Cup. Fight alongside your friends. There are no special rules in this tournament. No experience is gained. Let's start. No special rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a high score. This shouldn't be too hard. Should have equipped Magnet, perhaps. Darn it. I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts, but I've been playing the other Kingdom Hearts game, so... I am less, uh, used to this battle system. Hey, right, thank you, Donald. I really appreciate that, actually. Oh, I didn't- I did not unequip my combo pluses. That- that was a mistake. I never unequipped the combo pluses from the Marluxia fight, so... That's actually kind of bad, because when you're fighting common enemies, you want to get to your finishers pretty quickly. But! First round is down. Defeat the enemies before time runs out! That was a lot of points. Dang, Donald is just on it with the healing. Good job, Donald. Oh boy. Alright, let's take out these dumb plants first. They're just gonna make life miserable. Alright, toy soldier. Yeah! Eat my candy cane! Oh boy, Crimson Gems. Get rid of them. Sooner rather than later. Oh, Refliga, you are amazing. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, these guys suck. No, oh, no, I hate these guys. Hit the Shaman. Get him out of here. Assassins are also aren't a lot of fun. Oh, thanks, Donald. I, I actually had that, but... Wait, I just realized. Donald and Doofy still have the items from Mar the Marlusha fight, don't they? I think I gave them items from the Marlusha fight. Oh, great. Devastators. 
Let's go. Form. Take that. Defeat the enemies before time runs out with pleasure. Oh man, magic is just so good. <laughs> One Refluga just killed everything. Party must survive before time runs out. Oh sweet, give me all my drive back. I love that. Also, I love how it says the party, but uh, my party just ditched me. <laughs> Shara, we're gonna go to McDonald's. You got this fight, right? <laughs> I'm sure he'll be okay, Donald. <laughs> now I'm gonna order the Big Mac. <laughs> I'm getting to hash browns. Those are the best. Sorry, Donald. This one doesn't have... This isn't one of those all-day breakfast at McDonald's. McDonald's. Ah, oh, man. Where else am I supposed to get? All McDonald's food sucks. Guess I got a large fry day. Fight in the dark? No! Oh, great. Hot Rods are back. Yeah, <laughs> Refluga. Stupidly powerful. Alright, the final fight is... Hades. Look at how much damage a single Refluga did to Hades. That was like an entire HP bar. <laughs> hey, you having fun yet? <laughs> Actually, Hades, it's not. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Literally one Refluga takes out a whole bar of HP, and I'm not even max level yet. When you're max level, like, it almost wipes out two bars of HP with a single Refluga. <laughs> Later, Pain and Panic. We did it! Yeah! So we win the Goddess of Fate Cup, which gives us the Fatal Crest Keyblade, one of the optional Keyblades you can get in the game. Increases strength by two during MP recharge, and enables combos to continue endlessly. The combo finishing move becomes unavailable. This is a very uh, interesting Keyblade with an interesting ability. And we get an Oracalcum Plus. So I believe we only have one Oracalcum Plus left to get in the entire game. And in order to get that, you need to hand over at least one of every Synthesis material to the Moogle Shop. And we get a Serenity Crystal for completing the collection. And we can now buy Dent Shards, because I got so many when farming up uh, Final Form. Can we make any recipes? We can make Save the King! Oh yeah. Both of those. Boom. Save the King. A powerful shield with great strength and defense. Increases the effect of restoration items used on the field by 50%. I mean, that item's not the best for Goofy. Oh my gosh. Moogle leveled up. Make new items in free development. Okay. Free development. Oh, I can make a Mithril gem now. Oh, but I can't have... I don't have any energy stones? That's a problem. Mithril gem. Sweet. And Serenity Crystal. We need a Tranquility Crystal and a Remembrance Crystal. Yeah. I don't have those yet. Can I make another? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make Save the King Plus already. Save the King Plus, a powerful shield with great strength and defense halves damage taken in critical situations. That's a very good shield for Goofy. That's one of Goofy's best possible shields, as you might imagine, because it's Save the King plus not just Save the King. Uh, can I make Save the Queen? And if not, why not? Save the Queen, I need Dense Stones. With all of those nobodies I murdered in World That Never Was, I didn't get any Dense Stones? It seems surprising. Hmm. How, how troubling. Also, one thing I want to check is how many puzzle pieces do I have? Puzzle pieces. Uh, list of pieces. Missing three in Twilight Town, a whole bunch in Radiant Garden, two in Beast's Castle. Actually, wait, I'm trying to think. Because uh, Radiant, Gar Radiant Garden, a lot of these are going to be in the bonus dungeon. That I haven't even stepped into yet. I guess I'll spend the rest of the video kind of going to the worlds except Radiant Garden and trying to find some of those puzzle pieces. Because 
Most of the puzzle pieces you can't get until you have, like, maxed out growth abilities. But now that we have maxed out growth abilities, it should be a lot easier. Also, before I forget, Goofy is going to... <laughs> I have three nobody guards. Actually, I think four, because he has one equipped. I'm going to equip Save the King Plus, which gives him nine strength and the damage control ability. That is Goofy's best shield, at least for now. Alrighty. A new episode was added. Okay. So, there are actually now even more cups to do at Olympus Coliseum. In order to unlock these, uh, you need to max out all of your drive forms, and you need to max out your summon levels. But that's done. Anyhow, we're gonna go back to Twilight Town and see if we can find those last three puzzle pieces. Well, I spy where one of the puzzle pieces is. It's really high up down uh, this slope, but if we do a double jump followed by a super glide, we can reach it easily. Daylight puzzle piece. Nice! Oh, yes, my old nemesis. Now that I have maxed out Valor Form and Master Form. Okay, so I can glide up there to get kind of a boost up. Well, I can at least step up here. Do an aerial dodge. There we go. Uh, hey there, dude. <laughs> I came because I heard there was going to be another struggle battle. The promoter in the Sandlot should be able to tell you more. Yeah, and, okay, this is the stupidest thing ever. So, I I eventually looked up how you can fight uh, Cypher in the struggle. You literally have to beat Hainer ten times in order to do it. Even if you can absolutely wipe the floor with him, the guy will be like, Oh, no, you gotta beat him ten times if you want to take on, not even Cypher, but Setzer. And then you have to beat Setzer ten times if you want to take on Cypher. And Cypher's not even tough. It was a major letdown. Anyhow, there's still one puzzle piece. Uh, oh, maybe it's a puzzle piece in the tower somewhere. It probably is, because the mysterious tower counts towards the puzzle pieces in Twilight Town. Alright, Wayward Stairs! I should have seen one uh, when I was level grinding Final Form, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I missed it. It's entirely possible. There it is. That's a well-hidden one. Puzzle piece in that old mansion. Alright, well, I got this. Daylight puzzle piece. Alright, that's all the puzzle pieces in Twilight Town. Let's see... Puzzle pieces... I'm not going to Radiant Garden or Two in Beast's Castle. Uh, no, none missing in Olympus. We got... Wow, a lot in the Land of Dragons. We got four of them. There are two in a hundred acre wood I didn't get. Okay, uh, I'll have to remember that. Thank goodness I got all the ones in Atlantica. There's four in Disney Castle, one in Timeless River, two in Halloween Town, two in Port Royal, two in Space Paranoid. So when in doubt, it's two. Three in... Okay, so... When in doubt, two. Three in World That Never Was, four in Disney Castle, one in Timeless River. And then four in Land of Dragons. Cool. Alright, well, before I forget, let's head to, uh... The hundred acre wood. Wait, where did the safe... There's supposed to be a safe... No, there's not a safe. There's a safe point in the white room. Not actually at the entrance to the old mansion, though. I am thinking of Kingdom Hearts Free. Yes, Twilight Town returns in Kingdom Hearts Free. That's not really a spoiler. It was in all of the commercials for it. Alright, well, here's the first one on hundred acre wood. It's behind Pooh's house. You need to double jump to it. Oh. Even with the max level, the old jump would still be tricky. Daylight puzzle piece. Nice. Alright then. Oh, it must be in the spooky cave. Or, actually, we'll check Star Starry Hill first. Oh, okay, glad I checked it first, because there's that puzzle piece. Man, there are tons of daylight puzzle pieces, aren't there? Alright, thank you, Winnie the Pooh. I appreciate your puzzle pieces. I must be going now. I guess at the very least, I'll take a look around Radiant Garden. Just to see if there is, like, an easy puzzle piece to grab. Otherwise, if there's not, then I'll just leave. Because I do know for a fact that some of them are in the bonus dungeon. Which I'm going to save for a future bonus video. Alright, well, here's one. Sunset puzzle piece. Aw, oh, yeah! Oh, this is interesting. 
<laughs> That's where all the Organization 14 mushrooms gather, and I have disappointed all of them. Because I haven't really attempted any of the mushroom challenges. Again, that'll be another bonus video. Well, I found the first one, the space paranoids that we missed. It's over here, we can glide to it. There we go. Almost missed it. Sunset puzzle piece. Booyah. And here's the other one in the space paranoids. It's just at the very back of the room where you fight the MCP. I may have gotten it in one of my attempts on the MCP, but I just apparently didn't on my attempt that actually succeeded. Oh right, well. Alright, Land of the Dragons. I already know that a lot of these were just in very high up places that I couldn't reach easily. About aerial recovery, or aerial cover, aerial dodge or glide. So I can grab that one. Oh look, another sunset puzzle piece. Oh, a bright crystal. That's handy. Kind of. I have a lot of them. I already know there's at least one in the throne room, so I'll head over there. Yeah, so there's a puzzle piece over here. Yeah, you need max level growth abilities in order to get that one. Also, I love how fast you can move now that you have aerial dodge plus glide. Especially with max level glide, you're just so insanely fast. And trust me, we're going to need to use that speed for some of those bonus bosses. Alright, Mountain Trail, there's got to be at least one in this area. Or maybe not. Or, oh, maybe I actually got that one. Okay, no, 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 but there's definitely one in the uh, village. At least one, yeah. There's one over there. Blam! Daylight puzzle piece. Is there another? Nope. Let's check out the cave, otherwise we're going up the summit. Nope, nothing in the cave. Actually, wait. It's not hiding behind the shrine. No, okay. It I didn't. I couldn't remember if there was a hiding spot behind the shrine or not. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, for this one, we're just gonna need to ride the wind and use the reaction command to get up really high. Oh wow! All right, get out of here, enemies. Give me all that jackpot money. All that cash money. What the heck? Come on. Grab the dang puzzle piece. There we go. Oh, that's the final awakening puzzle piece. Which means I can show you what happens when you actually put a puzzle piece together. Uh. <clears throat> Good awakening. And... Puzzle piece is completed. We get an... Oh, just one AP boost? That's it? The other puzzles, uh, they give us much better rewards, just trust me on that. And that's everything! All puzzle pieces in the Land of Dragons. Let's go off to Beast's Castle! I love how in every world I, I'm visiting, it's like, Damn, they ain't the party! Alright, Sunset Puzzle Piece. Ooh, Bulky Vendor! There he is. Go to Crimson Jazz's first. Alright, bulky vendor. So we're gonna I'm gonna try to get the the rarest of all capsules, which is I think like the grand capsule or something. It's after a limited capsule. Prime capsule, that's the one. Prime Capsule gives us a Serenity Crystal! Very nice. I thought it also could give you a Calcum. Maybe not. There we go. Daylight Puzzle Piece. Bam! Alright, Disney Castle, so that's the first one. Come on, I definitely touched it. Come on! Man, that had a tiny get hitbox. Holy cow. Also, yeah. Now, this world just plays Mickey Mouse March endlessly. Park puzzle piece. Park puzzle piece. I think that's it for the courtyard. How about the colonnade? There we go. And that's it for Disney Castle. <laughs>
Oh, hey Minnie, sorry, we won't disturb you. So Disney Castle has actual overworld music, which is the Mickey Mouse March, but it does not have any battle music. Because no enemies spawn here anymore. Alright, off to the Hall of the Cornerstone, because we gotta go back to Timeless River. Oh yes, and this is the new thing that was added to Disney Castle after we beat the game. Oh, Sona! What great timing! It's just terrible! Would you look at that? That wasn't there before. <laughs> I came to check on the Cornerstone of Light, and that's when I saw it! I don't know how long it's been there! It looks like it leads somewhere, but where? Do you think it's connected to the past like the other one? Or maybe that's what the organization wants us to think! It might be a trap! Whatever the case, we should be prepared for anything if we're going to check it out. That, I recommend doing last. This portal, I recommend doing last in the game. <laughs> Where could this lead? I don't have a good feeling about this. Let's leave it alone. That is the toughest boss in the game beyond that door. We're going back to Timeless River. Because we gotta find that one last puzzle piece, y'all. Could it be not the waterway? The, not Mickey's house, the pier. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. It's above the tree. Duality puzzle piece. Alright. Thanks, Timeless River. You've been a pal. Alright, so there are two in Port Royal somewhere. Let's check Isla de Muerta first. If they're both on Isla de Muerta, that's great. We don't have to move the boat at all. But something tells me that would be too easy. Nothing on Isla de Muerta. How about on the Black Pearl? Is there just one hanging out on the Black Pearl somewhere? Or, uh, there's at least one, but I may have already gotten it. Yeah, I must have already gotten it. Nothing in the cabin, is there? Nothing. Alright. <laughs> hey, Savvy, take us back to Port Royal, eh? Aw, oh, heck, it's an ambush? No, I'm just gonna go into the captain's room and go out. Boom. <laughs> you were such a coward, eh, mate? <laughs> Not a coward, this is just faster. Oh, look! There's the first one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a, tough, that's a tough one. You definitely have to max out all your growth abilities to get that one. Alright, off to town. Naughty does so boring. Yeah, there we go. Frontier puzzle piece. Booyah. Alright. Off to the rampart so we can leave this dump. Oh wow, I'm actually missing one of the save points here. Alright, well we're gonna start at Santa's house and go back to the lab so we can unlock that final save point. Ho ho ho, hey Santa. Hey, it's a rare heartless. Oh, there are two of them. Alright, well, let's take out these dumb trick ghosts first. Prime Capsule? Can I get in a second one? Can I get a Metroid Prime Capsule? I can get a Metroid Prime Capsule! A lot of EXP. Serenity Crystals. Oh, I did get an Aura Calcum from that. That's nice. That's like the only way to get Aura Calcums, if you need more. Oh, hey, Mushroom. Uh, no. There's a lot of lights here, but none of them are already used to. In fact, I don't see any stickers there. One thing you can do, you can talk to Locke here, and he, you can... Actually, I'll just show you. Uh, Want to come back to Sandy's house? Yeah, I'll take check it out. For some reason, um, Locke lets us borrow a skateboard in Santa's workshop. Perform tricks I am the go for the high score before time runs out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can literally ride a skateboard in Santa's factory. 
And there's one trophy for the PS4 version, or actually it might be on multiple of the versions. There's a trophy where it's like do a huge amount of skateboard tricks in a certain amount of time. What you want to do is do a jump over here, jump, and then just, okay, no, no. Alright, what we're gonna do, jump, jump. There's a way to like, yeah, do, do this over and over and over again, and you can rack up an insane score. That's basically the only way to do it. Or you can grind on two rails in Hollow Bastion over and over again. I just wanted to show that off though. Nothing behind the tree, good. Alright, so everything's actually in the Halloween town side. Oh, there's gotta be one at the Curly Hill. Curly Hill is like tall with a lot of open space and it just screams you need to glide. Oh, uh, sure enough, there's one. Yeah! Ironically, we got the sunset puzzle piece here in Halloween Town. Where it is just dead of night. <laughs> oh, there we go. And a duality puzzle piece. Sweet. Alright, we're going back to Finkelstein's lab then. No, 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 stop it. Bad point. Oh, for this world, Goofy's the one who's out of the party. Get out of here, Donald. Goofy, come on! Oh yeah, because I needed a wisdom form. Alright. I think there's technically one somewhere in Radiant Garden that I could get, just based on the location of the missing ones, but I'll save that for later. We're going to alter not a world that never was, and we're going to get some, uh, some free puzzle pieces, and then we're going to end the video. Alright, so I know one of them is in this room, and it's at like the very bottom, really high up. So if we do a double jump from the top and then glide all the way down, we kind of need to know where to go, where the path is going to merge, and we can get here. Booyah! Sunset puzzle piece. Ba -ba 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 Two left. Let's go back to Syx's room, the addled. Yeah, Adel didn't pass. No, probably not. Probably not. Man, we beat Sykes really easily. <laughs> How about Luke Swords? Havoc's Divide. Puzzle piece in here? We can glide pretty high up here. Nope. It's fine by me. But oh, there's one in, like, the skyscraper area. here as well. There we go. There's one. Alright, just missing one. I can literally outrun bullets. Oh, while we're here, I guess we might as well hand over our synthesis materials. I don't think we can make anything new, though. That's a clever one. Alright, so we're gonna go to the top of the room, do a double jump, and then glide down. Booyah! Alright, that's all the puzzle pieces that we can grab, and that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we're actually going to take on another one of these super bosses. And in fact, this was the only super boss that was in the original release of Kingdom Hearts 2. So, like, the only one that actually existed in the game before Final Mix came out. Look forward to that one, it's a ton of fun, it's also pretty tough. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.